everyone, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again. And in today's video, I've got a review for you of the brand new Lionel Amtrak F40PH NPCU cabbage locomotive. The F40PH was a passenger locomotive that was built by the Electromotive Division of General Motors, otherwise known as EMD. The first models were delivered to Amtrak in the mid-1970s, and they stayed in service on Amtrak from the 1970s up until the late 1990s and early 2000s when they were replaced by newer locomotives like the P40s, P42s, and F59 PHIs. However, today on Amtrak you can still see F40s in this configuration. Several F40s, once they were retired, had their prime movers and traction motors removed, had baggage car style roll-up doors installed, but the cab controls were left in place. The purpose of this modification was to make cab cars for Amtrak trains that required push-pull service operations, such as the Pacific Surfliner, the Down Eastern, and the Hiawatha between Chicago and Milwaukee. And you can still see cabbages in service today. Which, by the way, cabbage is a short term for cab control baggage car. You've got your cab configuration here with the baggage car door here. It's self-explanatory. Now, while the F40 is not a new model to O-Scale, the cabbages have never been done in any scale up to this point. So this is a very exciting release, especially if you're like me and you like to model modern-day Amtrak operations. And this will work perfectly with the Amtrak setup that I'm currently utilizing. The Lionel MPCU was offered in the 2016 Volume 1 catalog, and it was delivered in March of 2017. Each model, like their F40 counterparts, feature road name and road number specific details, the legacy control system, and legacy rail sounds. However, it should be noted that this MPCU is non-powered and can just be rolled by hand, or of course with a train in tow, whichever you choose to do. The MPCUs also, like their counterpart F40s, have a lot of nice details and features, so let's go in and take a quick look at these. The pilot and truck configuration on this locomotive is slightly different from most O-scale models, as the model features a self-centering pilot. If you'll notice right here, when I turn the pilot, it goes outwards, just like this, and the truck stays in place. The pilot on this model is Lionel's newly designed Kinematic pilot. I do hope I'm saying that right. Basically how it works is that it's a self-centering pilot, much like you saw on the Vision Line ES44 and the later Legacy ES44s, that the truck and pilot are separate from each other, but the pilot still has some give to it, which allows the engine to get around tighter turns without having a pilot connected directly to the truck. And this makes for a much more realistic model. So it's very nice to see this feature on the F40. Also, Lionel makes this very easy to convert to two-rail O-scale if you decided to do that. Included in the packaging with the engine, you will get this packet, which contains two mounting pads for KD scale couplers. And what you can do with this is remove the O-gauge coupler and replace it with these mounting pads and a KD scale coupler of your choice if you decided to do that. Moving up to the nose of the engine, we've got the classic kind of boxy look of the F40 nose. We've got LED lights in the headlight, flashing ditch lights. We've also got the emergency stop light in between the number boards, which I'll demonstrate in a little bit. You've also got marker lights on the other side of the number boards. And on top, you've got flashing strobe lights, which is classic Amtrak. A quick look inside the cab reveals detailed crew figures, as well as a very nicely done control stand with light-up gauges, amazingly. Moving down the sides of the engine, we've got the baggage car door, as well as another accessible door on the side of the engine. We've got the Amtrak logo, as well as the road number. And it should be noted, with the MPCUs, they pretty much kept their original F40 road number. They just added a 90 in front of them. On the back of the model, we've got a nice handrail setup and another Kinematic pilot on the bottom. And we've also got working marker lights and another working headlight above that. And if I was to change directions on the model, the marker lights go off and the rear headlight lights up and the marker lights on the front of the locomotive would light up instead. On the roof of the F40 we've got a nice air conditioner unit, a nice Sinclair antenna behind that, there's another add-on piece behind that which you can't see, and right down the middle of the engine we've got a nice K5LA horn. 
On the back of the engine, where normally the radiator section would be, you can see that Lionel has correctly detailed the sections where steel plates were installed to cover over the holes where the radiator section normally was. However, right here, on these lift rings, if you pull up, and I have to be very careful here because there's no real attachment that you can grab onto easily. There we go. Down in there, you have the engine controls for the model. You've got your run program switch, you've got the master volume control, and you've also got a brand new unit pair switch, which is designed to utilize both of these F40s, say a powered and an NPCU, in the same lash up. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the sounds on the NPCU. Now I should note, this engine is non-powered and there are no prime mover sounds on this locomotive. All you're going to get is the horn, the bell, and the crew talk sound. You're also going to get the brake sound for when you're using the brake function on the legacy remote and other smaller sounds like that. You're also going to get the sound of a head-in power generator if you push the AUX3 key on the legacy remote. But since I'm using my TMCC remote today, I'm not going to be able to show you that function, so I do apologize for that. But first of all, here's the horn. <laughs> I am absolutely in love with this horn. It is so nice to see Lionel putting a correct Amtrak style K5LA in this and the powered Phase 3 F40. So let's give it another quick listen just for fun. And you'll also notice it has a nice echoing effect to it, which is really, really nice. Here's the bell. And here's some of the crew talk. This is the dispatcher. Take the green. Over. Thank you much. Cleared outbound. Out. Uh, dispatcher. Air is made. Brake test complete. Are we clear to pull? Over. Roger. Your track is cleared. Dispatcher over. Copy that, dispatcher. I'm green. Out. Dispatcher here. You're clear to pull. Over. Roger that. Here we go. Out. All right, now we're going to have some fun and run the MPCU around for a little bit. And I couldn't think of a better thing to run with it than a matched set of Amfleet passenger cars. Now, to power the train today, I'm going to be using my MTH Rail King F59 PHI. So let's go ahead and roll it out. Dispatcher, my fuel is just about empty. Am I cleared to the outbound? Over. Roger, your track is clear. Dispatcher, over.
problems, over. Thank you, sir. Dispatcher out. Going to sign the register book, dispatcher. Out. that just about takes care of this review. This is a great model, and if you're a fan of Amtrak like I am, you're going to love this thing, as well as the powered F40s as well. If you're interested in getting one of the cabbages, the MSRP price is just below $400, and the MSRP for the powered F40 is right at $550. However, if you go through a good Lionel dealer, you should get a good discount off of that. Thank you guys for watching this review, and I will see you next time. This is Ravenhawk6910, signing off.